the emphasis on the subject material and his body language all cast a seemingly hypnotic spell. It has even been said that the three greatest orders of the 20th century are considered to be Winston Churchill, Franklin Roosevelt, and Adolf Hitler. Hitler had mastered the techniques of stirring the emotions of his audience and made each of his listeners feel as if he were speaking to them solely. German architect and minister of armaments and war production for the Third Reich, Albert Speer, once said, Hitler was basically an artist. Although the topics that Adolf Hitler most commonly touched on were unpleasant ones, he was an amazing public order. Reactions to Hitler's speeches have even been described as orgasmic and enthralling. His communication style was unbeatable, gripping, and incredibly well executed. And we're going to go ahead and show you all a short clip of one of his speeches. It is all in German, but it's just to demonstrate his, speeching, his speech style. They possess. Hitler is considered one of the most hated people in all of history, but his technique and talent is undeniably remarkable. Clive James, the Anglo-Australian TV critic, did a great analysis of Hitler's speaking style in his series Fame in the 20th Century. He points out that Hitler's speeches were written on 10 to 12 sheets of paper, 15 to 20 words a sheet, and always began with catchy phrases. His dictation sessions lasted for hours with typists because he was constantly changing what he wanted to get out to the crowd. Before his speeches, he explained how he wanted the crowd worked up, and 15 minutes before cue time, he was known to take two cola dolman pep pills, a mix of cola, caffeine, and sugar. He never used a microphone because he wanted his pure voice to be enough to crowd for the crowd to listen. Now that you know why we chose Hitler, how significant his speeches were, how he captivated his audience, and how he has inspired us to speak about him today, you can realize that we're not here to try and change your perspective of what a horrible person he was. We are simply here to explain to you how incredible he was as a spokesperson. And while we certainly do not wish to follow in his footsteps, we would like to speak in his ways. There is no doubt Hitler knew how to capture an audience's attention. He used multiple uses of NLP, which was natural linguistic programming, for their full attention to be grasped. Other great speakers, such as Obama, Graham, and Regan, share some of the same techniques as he himself used. NLP is a type of psychology that is used for counseling and leadership training. Some of these included voice tone emphasis and hand movements. For example, all of them mostly used gestures with their right hand and pointed towards themselves when speaking positively and pointing away from them when speaking negatively so that no negative aspect was drawn upon them as a speaker. Hitler liked to use emotion to appeal to his audience and say things that he knew would trigger their emotional appeal. He, he was a speaking genius, and there's no doubt about that. And as he says in his speech in Mein Kampf, the spark of a genius exists in the brain of the truly creative man from the hour of his birth. <coughs> True genius is always inborn and never cultivated, let alone learned. <laughs> 